All right, so today we're installing a median on the interstate. So we're here at our construction company and we have got to get all of the required equipment ready to go. As always, over 67% of you guys are not subscribed, so if you want to help a pickle out, then click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. So first things first, I think I'm going to uh, actually fire up this truck and we're going to get a load of cones loaded up here in the bed of the truck so we can take them on out to the interstate and block off traffic for the certain lanes that we need open. We also might need to take the uh, little signal guy there, the arm con the arm contracting 05. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it said on the back. Okay. All right, so we just got to pull this right on out. And I think I heard, yep, there's King right there. We'll probably talk to him and see what he's up to. Oh, boy, this might not fit right underneath there. Hey, Jake, how's it going this morning? Hey, boss, going uh, pretty good. Just got the truck loaded up with some cones and got the... Uh, the blinker uh, trailer on the back there. Absolutely. I uh, just bring the skid steers back from old Timmy Hortons. I'll get those unloaded and, and put on in this bay here. All right. Well, ring me if you need me. I'm going to go over and get the cones laid. Sounds good. All right. So he's going to get that stuff offloaded and he's going to prep the semi to haul all of the uh, median barriers or large concrete precast barriers that we can place down. Uh, so the interstate through here is actually an old section of an interstate and they changed the regulation and how wide or how far the roads have to be from each other. And this interstate does not meet code. So that's why we actually, instead, instead of the state just widening it, they're wanting to right now temporarily just place median through it, which works fine for us. It's a little bit of an easier job. We don't have to tear out and widen the... Uh, the interstate here and use eminent domain to claim the land alongside it. So I'm gonna turn on my little wishy wash lights, watch out for traffic there, and we're gonna do the unthinkable. And what I actually wanna do is I'm just gonna do a full U-turn here. Now that I think about it, I know, kind of sketchy. And we're gonna run all the way down here to the other end and set this up to tell people to get over into the next lane and we'll drop these cones down as well. And now we're gonna have to hop out and pull each cone out individually and just walk them along since I can't I can't move my truck now. We need to get just an, an old piece of junk truck, the little like F-150 or something, just sit on this thing so we're not wasting our good company trucks. All right, we got them all laid out. Now, we probably put a few too many right here, but hey, they get the idea. They need to merge over into this lane. Continue on down this way, and we ran them all the way. We're doing a big stretch here, about a mile stretch, and we're going to be doing them uh, mile stretches from a time or at a time. So we're starting right here next to town, and we're working our way out from town, currently going this direction, and then we'll turn it back around and go that direction eventually. But we've got her cut down to one lane, so all the traffic can roll through here. We have this lane open for us to work on. So really, what all we have to do, we might want to close down this other lane over here, so it's one lane both sides. So that way, we're clear and free to work in the, med the middle section here entirely. Hey, Jake. Hey, boss. Welcome to the party. Yeah. I got the, uh, got one truck down. Oh, he already got a cone down on C. Yeah, I've been going along. I didn't place them too straight. I was just kind of throwing them out quick, and now I'm going along and trying to clean it up a little bit to give us as much room as possible as well as them and not make it all curvy. I know they're going to get confused if it is. Oh, but. we got one one up there so we can bring the other F-150 back and get hooked up to that other sign just so our trucks aren't being used. When is uh when is the batch plant supposed to have our batch done so we can pour this? Uh, it should be in about a half an hour here, so we should probably head okay. on back. If we're going to get the other truck set up, we can do that real quick and head back to the shop, grab our concrete trucks and get the get start loading up on our batches here. All right, let's run down to my truck and we'll uh, we'll go for a ride real quick and let's roll. Hey, you want to disconnect that trailer real quick since I already hopped in? Absolutely. Let's get on out of here. Hey, do you suppose it's a problem if we go out the uh, the entrance? Will they be mad? We ever wish we ever wish you washers on. I'd say it'd be fine. <laughs> Just stay off the shoulder. Yeah, it'll be all right. You want me to go out there with you, or am I good to go get the uh, trucks ready, the concrete trucks? Uh, you might as well come pick me up just so we can get a ride back. Oh, yes, that is, yes. Okay, good thinking. Do you want to leave that trailer on the inside or move it on the outside like you did down there? Um, I suppose it would be safer if we put them on the inside, huh? Yeah, I can give you a ride down to the other one. We can move inside too. You know, the first time I ever entered a row construction zone like this, the first time I ever got to be on the other side of the cones, I was so happy. It was like a bucket list checkoff, dude. 
<laughs> I remember as a kid, I was always like, I want to go in there because I'm not supposed to. And then the first day I ever got to, it was, it was a, w a dream come true. All right, there we go. We got both moved, set up. I think we're ready to go for some uh, concrete in here. All right, you got that opening up. Uh, you can take lead. I'll just follow you here. Sounds good. We will go load up with the batch plant and go get to porn. All right, right here next to the lumber yard, all we got to do is pull in and it's going to be the, you see their big silos and stuff right over here. All right, and all we got to do is try and line our top chute up right up underneath their, uh, their loading chute right here. All right, y'all loaded up? I'm good to go, boss. All right. Ooh, I need to watch where I'm going. All right, so we've got, uh, we got concrete in the barrel truck now. And since it's a fast set concrete, uh, the quicker we get over to the job site, the better. Uh, you really don't have to, I mean, sure, a hot load is still a worry with this, with this, but, uh, if I'm gonna be honest, we run a risk of it setting in our drum sooner than we run the risk of getting a hot load, so. All right, nice and easy, right across the median, don't get the big old truck stuck. Ah, you were smart and backed in. I see yes. how it is. <laughs> you want me to pour and then you come in and and fill in where i stop and we'll keep yeah. a rotation yeah i figured so i figured uh you can just kind of swing to either side do you want to just uh come back here and run my uh my boom arm here my auger arm all right i'm full i'm all loaded up or folded up we'll uh we'll run you now all right it looked like we actually we got a pretty pretty even code there that was pretty good yeah that did a pretty good job um We'll let the uh, finishers run along that and smooth that out and finish it. But I think we'll continue pouring. So I'll run your, uh, I'll run your boom back here, your arm, and uh, you just, you just run the controls up there and keep pulling her forward. All right, boss. Looks like we got her all paved up. I'm just gonna finish washing out the uh, chute here, and we can head on back, start getting the rest of our equipment over. I believe that other side of the bridge should be ready to go already or soon, anyways. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we'll go get the other equipment over here, ready to go. Um, maybe you snag a quick lunch and we'll get to work. All right, Jake. So we got the trucks back to the shop. Concrete's done. Suppose we need to head over and start loading up those concrete barriers now, huh? Yep. I suppose we better get those loaded up. And, uh, by the time we get that done, honestly, it's probably going to be good and set and we'll, uh, we'll be able to drop them in place. You even think this, this backhoe is going to be able to lift these concrete barriers? I mean, they're pretty, um... they're pretty heavy, man. I'm going to guess not. Those concrete barriers are pre-cast. They're pretty big. Um, I mean, what is it? It's like one yard or two yards equals a ton, right? Yeah. And these I, each uh, are probably a good, when you look at it all together, probably a good five, six yards, maybe. All right. Well, uh, why, don't, why don't we go ahead and try uh, maybe something like maybe something like this will do, Holy boss. Holy cow, I think that'll do it. Get that backhoe off that trailer. We'll load these up onto that trailer and we'll go get at it. I'm all for it. And uh, I don't know, I think we might have to look into maybe purchasing one of these. I get a little pricey. But, They're uh, a little pricey, but it's pretty neat. There we go. Just Here, about there. Up. All right. There you go. We're hooked on. Ooh, that is heavy. It's got some weight to it, but it does. I think we finally got the right tool for the job here. I think we do. All right, now nice and easy. Now I got to get her rotated. I think I can do that right here, can't I? There we go. There we go. That's Beautiful. fully dropped. Oh my gosh, that dropped that that trailer's. Whew. All right, you want to run up there, disconnect that. All right. All right, there you go. You're free. Let me lift that up out of the way here. You're good and clear. That's sitting on just the trailer now. There we go. That's the last one. You can strap them know. down. Yeah, I'm get some straps thrown on here, and uh, I suppose you wanna you wanna take that crane on out there, and I'll I'll meet you out. Yeah, I'll roll out there with the crane. You take the semi. Hopefully the DOT doesn't pull you over and see how heavy you are. All right, are we gonna try that? I think that's about our best bet at the moment. Maybe I'm too far forward, but I'll try I'll, reaching uh, for a rear one there first. Yep, just watching traffic. I'll just swing out here and I'll watch the electrical power lines here. All right, you got me hooked up there. Yep, there you go. You're all hooked. All right. Let me lift that up what little bit I can here. Yep, you're clear. You got a little bit of room to come up still. All right. If you come need it all. A little bit more. I mean, about there. All right. Drop all right, it. there. Drop it. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Uh, not quite perfect, but. Well, <laughs> we can probably adjust it, but we got it in place at least, right? Yeah, it's fairly in place here. All right, boss. Got you disconnected there. 
All right, we'll go ahead and uh, well, we can probably just leave the outriggers set here and uh, we'll just get another truck full over here, huh? Yeah, well, I suppose. We'll hop on in and we'll run on over there and load up another. Well, how are we loading it up? We can use a wheel loader. I'm sure the wheel loader might be able to pick these things up. We got a pallet fork for a wheel loader. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. We're going to continue laying these down as the sun begins to set. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching